Now comes the final match, is the tag match. Contestants, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an international tag team contest of 20 minutes duration. There will be no rounds, there will be a 45 second interval after each fall, and the time will be called every five minutes. With two falls, two submissions, two knockouts, or two disqualifications to decide the winners. Between, on my left end in the red corner, Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Kincaid and Butcher Bond, who together wrestle as the Caribbean Sunshine Boys. Their opponents on my right and in the blue corner, duo Pete Roberts and Kung Fu, who together wrestle as the Kung Fu. So grappling fans, once again, it's tag team time. And this time with a difference. We've never seen Johnny Kincaid and Dave Bond as tag partners before, making up the tag team of Caribbean Sunshine Boys. And we have never on television, of course, I'm referring to, seen Pete Roberts and Kung Fu fighting together as a tag team on television. They're the Kung Fu fighters. And this should be quite an interesting one. Seconds away, time. Two falls, two submissions, two knockouts, or two disqualifications to decide the winners of this tag match. Pete Roberts versus Dave Bond started off. Pete Roberts, of course, who's a, a judo boy way back, and he's a black belt. First Dan Judo, and he's been out in America recently, and he's learned quite a bit about Kung Fu. So therefore, his Kung Fu partner, how he helped him a bit more on one or two of the... There he is, being tagged now. And the expert on Kung Fu style combat is in the ring now against Dave Bond. but he's out of the way in time. A bit slow. Kung Fu for once, a wee bit slow. I'm following him up. To an ankle, Bond. Remember, the barefoot wrestler, Kung Fu. Offering. <laughs> and that's why he offered. Bond doesn't know what the date is at the moment. He's absolutely, oh, very nearly caught, and uh, he wants to get out. It's enough for him for the moment. In comes the more experienced Johnny Kincaid from Barbados. Very much heavier than Kung Fu, but maybe not quite so fast. 16 stone two of Johnny Kincaid against Kung Fu's 12-7. Look how quickly he operates that backhander, terrific speed. And out of trouble, and he's still on the attack. Kincaid's had enough for the moment. No, he has enough for using a tag bomb there. But in comes Pete Roberts now against Kincaid. The two heavier team members. Johnny Kincaid was quite a poet in his spare time. In fact, uh, next time we see him in a solo wrestling, we may be able to read out a couple of verses of his. Very good. Mostly about his opponents. That's Johnny Kincaid, Barbados versus 
Pete Roberts. Pete Roberts, of course, from Birmingham. trying a cross press but a little chance of that I think this early and he realizes it and releases Pete Roberts Pete Roberts a speed merchant too like his partner and a tag Kung Fu now versus Johnny Kincaid double arm now suplex now come on it and a tag in comes Dave Bond, comparatively new to the game, but, uh, as far as uh, years are concerned, compared to his opponent. Kincaid, a pro since the mid-60s, Bond since 1974. You know what the crowd is shouting about, there's nothing illegal there until he slides that wristband across the eyes. That's what they're beefing about over the other side of the ring. You couldn't spot it here, maybe you did it here. Max Ward spotted it. Nice back, oh, beautiful back kick, he's so quick with those. Enough for me, says Bond, and in comes Johnny Kincaid again with Pete Roberts. Nicely over the back. Caught, caught on the way. Pete Roberts really coming in hard, too, too low that time, flying tackle, missed time, and he's over the top for cross point. Lovely bit of tag wrestling. And that's why the boos are coming. Ben continues with a fist there on the blind side of the referee, Max Ball. Again, the wristband doing some damage near the eyebrow. Kung Fu on the left of the screen there can see it going on and wants to get in and, and help his partner, but it was stopped by Maxwell. Only a tag now. And Bond knows the referee's talking to his partner in the corner, so continues with the wrist trap over the eye rise. Kung Fu getting really angry watching his partner getting this treatment. It's pretty weakened now. He better get out of here if he can if he can tag. Nice back. It's a curious move that with a headbutt right across the forehead there. But per perfectly legal. Nothing illegal about it. Never seen that performed at all in the ring. But it did it did all right. In comes Tim Cade against Pete Roberts now, and accidentally, in quotes, he kicks him on the way. receives a public warning. So the first public warning to Kincaid. Trying another tag. Remember, it's got to be done over the top rope. Lovely double shot, and the straight fingers to the throat. Now he can tag. Kung Fu. And Johnny Kincaid doesn't want him out. So it's Bond coming in for Kincaid and Kung Fu for Pete Roberts. 
the throat, the hand, the left hand on the throat. On the jaw, directly the referee got right there. Too early. Steps back. Again, the right hand near the throat this time, but... Max Ward checking, doesn't like it. Breaks them. And Tim Kay having a ball the other side while the Max Ward's back is turned. Pete Roberts in the ring, all four. And there we go, Johnny Tim Kay, the only one out. Every time Ward turns his back, one of the Caribbean Sunshine Boys decides to go in a little bit high. jacket now and pulling pulling the jacket right across Kung Fu's throat and landing him on the throat again over the top rope. So it's still Bond versus Kung Fu. Tag. Johnny Kincaid has come through, takes over the hole. But illegal it is, the left hand in the throat. One public warning against him already. Roberts very angry, complains to the ref. More illegal moves by Johnny Kincaid, where the ref's back. So it's Bond coming back in now against Kung Fu. And so there's submission on the way. Didn't need the power driver. Ten minutes into this tag contest, halfway through. Ladies and gentlemen, after ten minutes, the first submission is secured by Dave Bond. Dave Bond. The first submission over Kung Fu in 10 minutes, halfway through the match. Very deep conference going on between Kung Fu and Pete Roberts here as Pete Roberts tries to bring back Kung Fu after that submission hold. Worried. Seconds away. Time. Ready or not, they'll have to go for the second session. One. Two minutes to go. One submission up to the Sunshine Boys from the Caribbean. And it's Bond versus Kung Fu. We must continue. It was not a clenched fist, says Kung Fu. Straight from the jab that was going to be. Dave Bond trying for a second submission. Nice lean back drop kick, beauty. And another. And Kung Fu ready to go now with the feet. Kung Fu keeping Dave Bond well away from his own corner. So we can't tag. King K trying to get in the ring there, but was, was spotted. And the legs come up over the top, shoulder press, Kung Fu special. There it is. Twelve minutes in, and it's... The final session there, one fall each now, one submission to Kincaid and Bond, 
Equalised there by a fall from Kung Fu for Robertson Kung Fu team. The Kung Fu fighters, one each. Kung Fu versus Bond. And what the next score is the one that wins. One public warning, of course, against Kincaid already. It's all right as long as it's the heat of the hand, but when he turned, was it? Then comes Roberts, waiting for that swinging shot of his. Shades of Tibor Zakash here. Exactly how he frames up to the chop, the backhanded chop to the throat. Again, rubbing that uh, wristband on the eyebrows. It takes over. Johnny Kincaid takes over the hole. Max Ward. Must be in all places at once, Max Ward. Now, if he's got those fingers in the mouth, of course, Max Ward would stop it. But if they're folded on the edge, it doesn't matter. And oh, King Kager delivering a great punch there. I don't know if he was sighted by the ref or not. And all the way across the throat as he got it, but he gets a second public warning for it. Two men of the ring, so Kung Fu comes in and now it's all mayhem breaking loose now. And anything could happen. They've gone mad now. Kung Fu with a straight arm. Beautiful straight fingers, Jack. And Kincaid and Bond are the ones that down. Today, five minutes to go. Just under five minutes to go with this tag match. One each, and it's Kincaid versus King Kung Fu, and another punch to the forehead. Hair pulling there, Kincaid. Slapped right in the chop. It's the ref that caught that. That's, and Bond going for Kung Fu in the other corner. Every time the referee turns his head. Oh, it's mayhem now. He's got it, but Kung Fu will be back in time. Over the top, flying tackle, caught in a slam, and it's Kincaid over the top of the press. But Pete Roberts still sort of pulls him off. And a second public warning there. Oh, never seen a tight match like this. It's really out of hand. Roberts receives the final public warning. So that's two each now, Kincaid and Roberts. Poor Kung Fu getting the worst of this at the moment. Lady at ringside joining in. But Kung Fu gets an uppercut. And the Mike Judd, the, the MC. I think this qualification here, the Sunshine Boys, disqualified. And the referee's had enough. The referee has disqualified the Caribbean Sunshine Boys. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners are the Kung Fu Fighters. the winners, Roberts and Kung Fu. The others disqualified, finally, after about 16 Ladies minutes Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has disqualified the Caribbean Sunshine Boys. The winners are the Kung Fu Fighters. 
So that's it, an exciting finish. And somebody trying to throw water about, and he's going to be in trouble if King K catches him, he's going to have his neck broken. Anyway, that's it from all of us at Croydon. We hope you've enjoyed it, and as Mike Judd tries to get the final words out, it's time to say goodbye from Croydon. Have a good week. Till next week.